In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Power Platform Center of Excellence Starter Kit. It's also known as COE Starter Kit. Now, what is a COE Starter Kit? COE Starter Kit, Center of Excellence in an organization <clears throat> drives innovation and improvement. It brings like-minded people together with similar business goals. It provides standards, consistency, and governance to the organization. So it's mainly about Power Platform implementation within your organization. If you have already built uh, a platform for uh, building apps, flows, reports, now how do you govern this? How do you standardize this? So Center of Excellence Starter Kit will help you organize your apps, flows, reports, uh, users, uh, and it will set some sort of a standard and then you can extend those implementation uh, with your organization defined uh, processes. Now, Center of Excellence is a toolkit uh, provided by Microsoft containing apps, flows, reports, tables, etc. Now, these apps, flows, reports are predefined you can extend it as per your needs uh, and as per your organization requirements. However, it's a starting point. <clears throat> now, it is more than app flows, reports, and tables. So it contains a lot of components, uh, which I'm going to cover it in my later videos. Now, this kit is also called as uh, a COE starter kit. So you may uh, hear this terms frequently. It is applicable only to Power Platform environment. However, there are many technology touch points with related to Microsoft 365, Microsoft Azure, and some part of Dynamics 365 as well. Uh, this uh, COE starter kit, it relies on community feedback. So it's like a community driven initiative <clears throat> whereby communities uh, start uh, providing inputs, feedbacks, uh, uh, report issues, bugs, etc., cetera, uh, and make this product more uh, usable, uh, user-friendly, and uh, uh, it, it's been uh, quite a good response from the community to Microsoft, and then Microsoft starts implementing those uh, uh, feedback in the loop, uh, and then they uh, start improvising on the product. Now, the ideas from COE is then baked into the future products. So uh, currently in the Power Platform environment, if you see some features, now quite possible that feature may have evolved from uh, the COE starter kit functionality. Okay, so which I'm going to cover that in a future video and I'll show you what, what I meant by that. Now, moving on to the <clears throat> next slide. Um, what does the COE product contains? So COE product basically uh, contains a components, okay? Now, when you uh, install the COE starter kit, there will be a lot of components uh, which comes along with it. Now, the, uh, the highlighted components are core components, governance component, innovation backlog components, nurture components, audit components, ALM accelerator components, admin task planning. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to cover this information uh, in my future videos uh, in more depth. Uh, what a COE starter kit uh, looks like, you know, when you implement or when you install the COE starter kit, you may get some sort of apps and reports. Okay, this is just this is just one example of app and a report. You will get numerous apps and numerous reports. Now it will give you an inventory count of your environment like how many apps, how many flows, how many environment, how does the flow interact, what are the desktop flows you have within your uh, tenant, uh, what are the solutions, what are the AI models you have. So those all information will be surfaced out as a part of a model-driven app or a Power BI report. What are the technology touch points uh, which CEO interacts with? So mainly Power Platform Perspective, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI. Power Virtual Agents, Power Pages. From Microsoft 365 perspective, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Purview, Auditing Logs, uh, and from an Azure perspective, Enterprise Applications and Active Directory. Now there can be many more, uh, which I just don't want, didn't want to full, fully put that in the slide, but these are the major technology touch points with regards to COE.
coe strategy now <clears throat> why would anyone install coe within their environment one is from a security perspective second is from a monitoring perspective and third is from a nurturing perspective so security now when you set up an environment within your organization quite possible that uh, the defaults might take over uh, uh, with regards to the settings uh, now uh, you can set an environment strategy you can set up dlp policies you can set up user permissions so coe will provide you set of a guidance uh, which will allow you to uh, secure your resources your components your artifacts within your organization and used more efficiently and effectively monitor as coe provides you a list of inventory uh, within your organization quite possible that you may get a full visibility within your organization in one single pane of glass you will be help you will be uh, able to identify patterns within your organization like who is creating flow who is creating an app whether the app is being used or not uh, how secure the app is uh, those sort of information uh, you can also clean up unwanted artifacts uh, uh, if desired so uh, and uh, by monitoring you can also accelerate the adoption of the artifacts like an apps flows like if the app has been created and if it's not used across the organization or people are not aware of such apps then those all things can be surfaced out to your end users from a nurturing perspective you can um, train cross train the users you can uh, empower users to build apps you can support the makers in the journey uh, you can align organization users so this are some of the benefits of uh, implementing coe now <clears throat> uh, continuing with the benefits of implementing coe it helps in improving the productivity uh, technical awareness is improved within your organization uh, there there will be a reusability culture uh, which will get introduced once you have those coe starter kit implemented uh, there will be a lot of process improvements uh, it's it is tried and tested in various organization and it is really doing uh, some sort of an uh, improvement uh, exercise uh, it helps in developing best practices uh, it helps in uh, standardization providing a templates uh, to your organization users so that uh, you don't reinvent the wheel and you follow the standard processes or procedures defined by your organization there's a lot of user empowerment as user gets a lot of free hand in implementing solution and at the same time getting recognized for their achievements uh, there will be a lot of task delegation to an end users if you properly uh, structure your user base in terms of makers in terms of administrator in terms of uh, champion users and many more now what are the outcomes post coe implementation it will help you define a roadmap for your organization if your organization does not have a roadmap you will be able to define one if the organization already has a roadmap then it will help you uh, analyze and assert in some important aspect by looking into the statistics or the inventory count uh, exposed by the power bi report it will help you define the governance plan you can have a strong governance methodology within your organization uh, it will uh, trigger trainings, hackathons, lunch and learn session as and when people get more interested in learning Power Platform as well as contributing from an enterprise application development perspective. It will help recognize early successes within your organization. It will help build champions within your organization who can promote Power Platform within your organization. Um, and uh, sharing of success stories uh, with like-minded organization. So this is what uh, COE Starter Kit will help you do if you implement it in a right way, in a correct way, uh, and uh, take it to the next step. So there's a lot of maturity model being defined by Microsoft. So I'm going to cover that in the future videos. Uh, but for as of now, I think that's it from my end. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.